Welcome to the Kingdoms of Renendar video blog. Uh, we are a live action medieval fantasy group, not to be confused with a LARP group or a reenactment group. Uh, my name is uh, Patrick. In game, my persona is Chromac Phelan, King of Galia. And with me introducing this video is. My name is Russell. Um, in persona, I am uh, Gunnar Kovac. I am King of Skane. Now this is going to be the first in a long series of videos that we're going to do covering different aspects of our kingdom. The first one is going to take care of some fighting basics because uh, everybody likes to fight now and then. Uh, so to begin with we're going to go over some simple rules. Uh, first set of rules, the wound zones. What you're going to be witnessing here are legal attack areas. Patrick is here pointing to the hand. This is not a legal attack area. He then points to the forearm and to the shoulder. If you are hit in any of these areas, it is considered loss of limb. You are to drop whatever is in that hand and put that hand behind your back. Next, he points to the ankle. That is not a legal area to attack. He points to the leg and to the hip. Again, Hit in either one of these areas, you are to either lift the leg off the ground and fight on one leg. A la Black Knight. Or you are to take a knee on that stump of a leg. Next, he points to the midsection. Uh, this is an instant kill. There's, It's just an instant kill. Next, he points to the head. Any shot to the head is considered a removal of the head, and you are dead. All right, maybe it isn't complete removal of the head, but you're at least, you know, incapacitated. Uh, you lost the fight in the end. Uh, moving on, we're going to uh, show you some examples uh, of actual combat between two people rather than just pointing where we're going to be hitting. Uh, the first one up is an arm wound. Uh, this is very good for uh, messing up somebody's game in a strategic sense. If they're using two weapons, they only got one hand now. They're, you've halved their offensive capabilities. Take out their sword arm if they're using sword and shield, and now they're completely uh, offenseless. Now, maybe they can get to their sword, but they have to take the time to drop that shield. All right, now if you want to uh, take a look at this video here, what we have is uh, a fight between Chromac and Gunnar. Chromac's on spear. Uh, Gunnar is on sword and shield. A quick flurry. And Gunnar loses that arm. He's backing up really quick. Uh, he doesn't have any offensive power at that point. He needs to uh, think about the fight from that point on. Next uh, clip you're going to see here is a leg wound. Leg wounds are a very uh, good tactical maneuver on the list field. Um, what it does is it gives your opponent the option to either take a knee and fight off his knees, or her knees, depending, or they can uh, lift that leg and hop around and uh, try to fight you and chase you and it's fun. Okay, um, in, this, in this video you're going to see that uh, I'll be fighting Florentine. to two weapon form. I'm fighting sword and axe against Chromac who is uh, fighting standard sword and shield. And uh, somebody's about to lose a leg. All right, now that we got limb loss out of the way, taking somebody's arm or leg, uh, we're going to move on to how to win. That's by making the other person dead. Dead. Uh, Gunnar likes dead. Dead is good. <laughs> but moving on right along, uh, the two main ways to do it instantly are uh, to the torso, taking a shot to the torso, or hitting somebody upside the head or any which way about the head uh, with your weapon. Hemorrhage. What we have right here is uh, Gunnar taking a very uh, uh, nasty whack to the head. Hemorrhage. Uh, it's a, again, it's a great sword. They they tend to hit Hard. well. They hit well. We'll call it well. Call it good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, oh. Okay, the third and yet final way to win a fight or gain a kill on the list field is a double limb removal. A double limb uh, takes a little bit longer than your normal instant kill. Uh, you have to take 
both arms or an arm and a leg, but it opens uh, opens up your options if you catch somebody's limb early on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we have Gunnar Kovac, King of Skain, fighting sword and shield. He is fighting his nemesis at the time, uh, Cromac Phelan, King of Galia. So we start out with a quick flurry. Oh, look at this. Oh, Gunnar lost his arm. This he's, can't be good. He's in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, uh, boy. What's he going to do? Cromac's being nice, and he's tossing him his sword. Oh, well, he tried to grab it with his invisible hand. Oh, oh what a oh trick. Oh, my God. Down goes Gunnar. Down goes Gunnar. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for uh, watching our little video blog here for Kingdoms of Renandar. Remember the website, it's www.renandar.com, it should be in the info, and uh, we'll hope to see you at the next event. My name is uh, Pat, a.k.a. Cromac. I'm Russell, a.k.a. Gunnar, and remember, Renandar is spelled R-Y-N-N-Y-N-D-A-R. In case you couldn't read, catch you next time. Ding, ding.